In this video, I'll show you how to add extent reports to a Selenium project. Welcome to Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. In this example, I'm using a Maven project. Therefore, the first thing that I need to do is to add the extent report dependency to my project. So I'm going to head over to mvnrepository.com. And then here I'm going to search for extent reports. And let's click search. And we're going to want to download this one that says com.event stack. So let's click this. And as of the date of recording, the latest version is this one right here. So I'm going to click this right here. And then click this area to copy this text. Now we're going to head over to our project to add this dependency. And here I have the pom.xml file open in my project. I'm going to scroll down to where I see the dependencies section. And then I'm going to add this dependency here at the end. So let me create some space and paste that here. Then I'm going to click this button right here to update my project. The dependency has been added now, so we're ready to start using extent reports. So let me head over here to this class that says test listener. In this class, I have this method right here that I'm overriding from the iTest listener interface. And this test takes a screenshot anytime that a test fails. If you would like to learn how this method works, please check out the video card above to learn more. But basically all this method is doing here is grabbing the name of the test that failed. And then we're logging this message that says that the test failed. And we take a screenshot. This method right here, takes screenshot, is this method that has been implemented in the base class. And as you can see, all this method does is takes a screenshot and saves it in this directory and as a PNG file. So we're going to go ahead and modify this method a little bit so that we can add the extent reports capability. And we're going to begin by creating a couple of class variables. So here I'm going to go to the class level and then I'm going to say private static extent reports. I'm going to call this extent. And then I'm going to say equal to extent reports. It is good practice to have only one instance of extent reports. That's why I'm using the static keyboard here. And we can use different types of reporters with extent reports. One of them is called Spark. And we're going to be using that one here. So to do that, we're going to say private static extent Spark reporter, this one right here. And then let's call this one reporter. It's equal to new extent Spark reporter. And here we're going to pass in a path. In this case, I'm just going to use the name of the file that I want to create. And I'm going to call this one extent report. It needs to be in quotes, by the way. So we're going to say extent report. And the extension needs to be HTML. And this is because the extent report is an HTML document. And now that we added this, we can go back down here to this method that takes the screenshot. So we're going to add a few more things here after we take the screenshot. And here we're going to attach the reporter to the extent report. So let me say attach and to do that we say extent dot attach reporter and we're passing the reporter that we created up here, this one. So here I'm going to say reporter. Next we need to add the fail test to our report. So here we're going to say add and for that, we need to say extent dot create test. And here we're going to provide the name of the test that failed. I'm going to copy this and put it down here. Now let's go ahead and add a log entry to this report. And for that, we need to say dot log. And this is an overloaded method that allows us to add different things to the report. For example, we can add the stack trace, a screenshot, or just a message. So let me go ahead and add a status here. I'm going to say status dot and there are different statuses that I can add. For example, I can say fail, info, pass, skipped, and so on. In this case, I'm going to say fail because this method reports fail tests. So I'm going to add fail and then comma and then just add a message saying that the test failed. And the last thing that we need to do is to finalize the report. And for that, we use extent.flush and this will create the report for us. So what I'm going to do now is to run a test that is going to fail on purpose so that we can see this extent report. So let's go over here to this test class and I have this test right here. And this simply goes to the automatenow.io website and it checks the title of the home page. In this case, this test will fail because the title of that page has been misspelled on purpose. So 
So let me go ahead and run this test so that we can take a look at the extent report. And here we see that the test ran, but it failed. If we take a look here, it says that there was an assertion failure, where the title was invalid. This is the expected title, and this is what we found. You can see that there was an extra S here. But what we're concerned with is the extent report. And notice that here we have a new file called extendReport.html. This is the extent report file. So let me double click this. And as you can see, this file is all HTML code. If I bring my mouse over here to the right, it allows me to open this document in any of these browsers. Let me select Edge over here. And this is going to open up the browser and render the report. As you can see here, we have a failed test. It says test save screenshot to Word document. This is the name of the test that I ran and it failed. As we can see here, it says failed. And we also have a log entry here. And this is the log entry that we added with the corresponding text. You're also going to notice there are two different tabs over here. This first tab is the default tab and it shows you all the tests that ran. This other tab over here shows you a dashboard that will give you a graphical representation of the test that passed or failed. In this case, we only have one test that failed. But if we run a suite of tests, we will see multiple test statuses. And that's how easy it is to add extent reports to your Selenium project. I'll create other videos that are going to show you how to add more things to the extent report. For example, we're going to add screenshots, stack traces. We're also going to learn how to add categories to our test. For example, a smoke test, end-to-end -end test, and so forth. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the video card on the screen. In this video, I show how you can take a screenshot anytime that a soft assertion fails. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.